Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a uh, brake pad change and a brake fluid change on the Accord. Um, I did go with performance brakes because I wanna eventually track this car. So for the front, I have a DTC 70 and then for the rear, I have DTC 60. Hopefully this only takes about uh, an hour or so, but we'll see. All right, so this is what the pads look like. The rears, uh, a lot a lot smaller but the fronts are huge so looking forward to getting these on so the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble the rear caliper so there's two 12 millimeters one here and then one here so let me get into that well the homie leno brought the caliper tool so that we can at least push this back in um but here are the stock pads and then the stock caliper or not stock caliper the stock rotor get the other one it spills, it spills, it, it, it Dang, those are small. Let's get the rear pads. Just got the first um, set of rear brake pads in. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple um, procedure. You just have to take out the old ones, grease up the new ones, and then fit it with the old hardware. And then you just bolt those two uh, parts of the caliper together, and then it's basically done. So here's a, a comparison between the two, the stock brake pads and then the hot ones. It's yeah. pretty big, looks on? nice. No. All right, so all four corners have their brake pads changed. I didn't really film too much because uh, my hands were really dirty. And um, honestly, it would have taken a way longer if I was filming. But for the fronts, you just have to take off these two bolts. They're 14 millimeter. Uh, that takes off the caliper then you have to pre uh, push in with the caliper tool so that you can fit the new brake pads you stick them in and then just tighten it all up um, same thing with the rears uh, i'll get a little walk around of what they look like but you can see the grease all over the corners but this is how the rear looks let's see yep right here same thing grease in the corners much smaller pad uh, this is what we're gonna use to drain the brake fluid but yeah the brake pad change took like an hour or hour 15 because i'm not too experienced but i'm excited to see how they perform over the stock brake pads so we're using the Release. water bottle method and we attach it Press. to here. Release. Press. You gotta make sure not to Release. get any water or not water air okay. bubbles in the systems so that Press. your brakes don't fail okay give me five good presses so for this brake fluid change we're using bosch brake fluid um and this is the reservoir right here torque down the wheels uh obviously lowered it from the jack stands we're gonna go on a little test drive but yeah it feels really good even just pumping the brake it feels very uh, it has a bigger bite it's more aggressive but i will come back with my thoughts once we do a little drive so we did the bedding process which is basically you have to do medium and hard braking uh, between different speeds like 60 to 0 or 60 to 20 and then like 35 to 0. Um, we got all that done but byron's gonna test out the brakes to see what he thinks about them because I, f I feel like so yeah we're just gonna get a little bit of the test runs all right we're trying out heel toes um and a little pool but yeah damn these brakes are strong boy oh my god we went 80 to 40 quick All right, so another brake test. Let's go. Go, go 50 to zero. Ready? Yep. Oh, this thing freaking, oh, this nice. thing is strong. Dang, boy. It's good, yeah. If anyone wants this exact setup, I'll have it in the link um, in the video description. So make sure to check that out. But this, ew, this brake setup is crazy. It's good, I like it. That was quick. That's a, a little bit of ABS. 
so overall the brake job the brake pad change and the brake fluid change took about two hours two and a half hours um from the tests we've done the brakes are really really strong in fact they're so strong that the limiting factor for the braking is now only the wheels and the cal uh the rotors so we will eventually have to upgrade those but for now i'm enjoying the new braking power and um the fact that i don't have to do this for a while again so hopefully you guys like that video i'll see you guys in the next upload